today is a big old day. Today is day one of HHN. So, Halloween Horror Nights vlog. So if you are a small child or your small children are watching, you might not want to watch this one because it can get spooky at times. But it is opening night, meeting up some friends. Thank you, Peter Sis, for lending me their uh, G7X Mark III so I can pocket it. Picked up a new Hufflepuff mask so I don't rub my Mickey Mouse. And I'm seeing the signs for the first time. It's going to be a good, good night. Ooh, I can't wait. these signs. I am so excited. Oh, the park closes at five so I can't even get in anymore. Oops, messed that one up. Hello, I am at home tonight. We realized the logistics of Peter going to HHN and me going to dinner didn't work out with like the car seat and the timing. Um, so I'm very bummed that I'm not going out to dinner for Katie's birthday. Um, but I feel like I kind of needed just like a day in our place. Um, I'm probably doing the opposite of what Peter's doing and that is making goofy costumes for our boo bash party that we're going to at Disney World. So like that's why it's the opposite. Like, boo bash is quite different than HHN. Um, so we are dressing up. Well, I'll just like show it to you so you know. A little bit of anticipation. Um, it's super, super simple, nice and easy for the Florida heat, but we are all three being the same thing. Um, and I just wanted to show you the process. Here and I succumbed to peer pressure. Jeff and Bianca are here, and I was gonna meet up with them. They got in before the park closed, and then they're like, "By the way, we got Express Pass." So I got Express Pass. So I'm running over to Texas Chainsaw to meet up with them. HHN's back, baby. Woo! Here we go. HHN 30. Oh, look at those corpses. Gross. I think these are aliens that suck the life out of humans. The seek and destroy scare zone. It's also very fitting that it's raining. Spooky, spooky. Here, here's my bad influence, right here. There they are. Two days in a row. You guys, you are, you're a bad influence. <laughs> right, right? I wish I could grow this goatee, but I can't. Check it out. <laughs> so I obviously just ironed on these little patches, painted on little purple collars. We'll see if we need to do another coat. Do you guys see? Is it coming together? It's pretty obvious since the Pizza Planet logo. We are being green aliens. This little headband is for James. And then we have headbands, just blue shorts for us all to wear. And simple, nice in the Florida heat. This is not what we're being for actual Halloween. I thought it would just be fun to throw together. Super, super simple. I do have like blue tape to make belts when we actually put them on. Who knows if we'll actually do that. James has little figurines of these aliens. He loves them. And it's like they exist in that little trio that are saved by the potato heads. So that's our little family outfit. My goal was to get that done while James napped, which, I mean, it was a short segment on the vlog, but that took two hours because I am a messy, artsy person. And so I also don't want things to look very precise. So that doesn't work when I don't have a computer. That's why I work as a graphic designer. Um, and so it took me a really long time and a lot of patience to get those collars how I liked them. Um, but yeah, he's still snoozing, but it's been two hours, so he'll probably wake up soon. I've actually been re-watching you 
the first season because I see that a third season is coming out. Never watched the second. So that's kind of more on par with the Halloween Horror Nights theme of the vlog. So I'm going to watch that and wait for him to wake up. Look at this. This is nonsense. This it, is a monsoon it's level. It's so bad. All these corpse bodies are going to become grapes. They're like raisins right now. <laughs> They're going to hydrate back up. <laughs> right, we're heading towards our first house of the night haunting of Hill House. Still pouring. 55 minute wait, but we got that express. So our, our, my shoes are just done. My dark clouds, my K-Swisses. Oh. This is wild. Wild. All right, here we go. Haunting of Hill House. Bent neck lady. I can hear the music. We're doing Beatles just back to back. Hill House was terrifying in a jump scare. I went in with low expectations. But it was so good. But now we're doing Beetlejuice, which is like a Brookhart family. My parents, my brother, they all love it. So I'm excited to go through this and then radio back to them how it is. So that was amazing. IPs are always fun. Look at Jeff in the background vlogging. He's such a vlogger. Isn't he such a vlogger? He is. He's such a vlogger back there. It's a really good IP. It's just like walking to the movie set. So if you're a fan, you're going to love it. Not that bad. If you're not a fan, it'll still be good. Time for the corner of the original contents. We're going to hit up. Wicked Growth, which I'm uh, like, this one I'm most excited for. So we're in line for the harvest, and everybody, all the, camp, all the team members, even that team member behind us, just said it's the best house of the year. And it's the same location as my favorite house of all time, Harvest, from years ago. I think it's the location. Wait until you see the front of this house. It is amazing. Look at this tunnel. Woo, look at this. Wow. Woo. <laughs> Calling it right now, that's the best house of the night. It was the best looking, best scares, best aesthetic. Original contents are always better. That is the best house of the night. We got three down, we're about to hop into Puppet Theater, another original content. Wow, that was, we're doing that one like two or maybe three times a night. Did Peter tell you what he just said, that he called that being the best yeah. house? And that was our third house. Yeah. That's saying all night, I believe it. Early. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll tell us the night goes on. Okay. And we're going to find out that I'm right. <laughs> I'll buy you a drink. If you there you go. <laughs> all right, Puppet Theater was good. Not the greatest, but good. This, I've got high hopes for. This is, oh my God, this is Carry Indiana or Scary Indiana. It's a reoccurring theme. I can't wait. Look at this. Woo! Midwest vibes. Peter was showing me videos of the storm on his end, and it looks like it is making its way over here. <laughs> this is Jamie's new favorite. Can you guess what it is by the music? It's Luca. He'll like actually sit and watch it. I wasn't vlogging because my phone died. And I realized I had the vloggy camera here all along. So that was our halfway mark. It's raining again. And bummer right now with the rain is scare zones are not, like the scare actors are not because it's not safe for them. And it's supposed to rain at least until 10 it's looking like. So I don't even know if we'll get scare zones. But that house right now, scary, was bottom of the list. It was not that good. It was our halfway mark, which is exciting. We've already done five of the houses. And we'll see the scare zone. This is when the aliens would come suck all the blood out of your body. Hoping we'll get a chance to see them later. But for now, I think we're going to do the Icons house. Here we go. We got Icons. Probably one of the biggest houses of the night. Who do you think is going to win? I say Jack. I think Jack. It's opening night. I think Jack. I'm going to say the director. Jack or Chance. I think Chance. Chance is a fan favorite. There you go. We'll see. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> all right, so we're six of ten houses down. We just finished Icons. Apparently, every night there's a different winner. Like different Icon wins the night. Bianca was right. It was the director, the director right? The director yeah. won tonight. I thought maybe Chance. Jeff thought Jack because it's opening night. But we're gonna grab some. I'm gonna grab a drink. Bianca's grabbing some fried Oreos. I, I might get one of these sweets. There's all. It's all like sweets over here. And Twinkies. I need something savory at some yeah. point, but that's what they have twisted taters for. <laughs> but we're killing it with the yeah. express pass. The express pass is expensive, but like tonight it's raining. It's, worth it. it's sold out. There's 30,000 people out. What do you think here? <laughs> yeah. Smells so good. Here is the menu here. Old fashioned whiskey and Coke, Coke Zero. That's like made for me. I think I'm going to get the PB&J as well. It all sounds delicious. Deb's hooking me up with this fancy camera light. Amazon Prime Special. <laughs> I got the fried PB&J Uncrustable Honey Glaze. I got this Dead Guy Ale. We're sitting in the darkest corner 
but it's it's kind of calm. Yeah. You got like an angelic look to yourself right now because the light. Yes, this is so good. And then me and Dev got these old fashions. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Cheers to your Cheers. Oreos. Cheers to my Oreos. <laughs> and a great, great HHN. And the scare actors are back. The scare actors are back. Bianca just ducked away for a second and started flashing her light around. I was like, what are you doing? That's she fun. found this big old slug. Look at his little ears. Okay, Sarah, when you come next Thursday, this is what you will see. So I think because these are aliens with masks, they're allowed to be closer to us. I can offer you anything it is you desire. All you have to do is bring more followers to me. Hello, this is the mastermind in control of all the aliens. We're going to be drained and fed upon. They suck the life out of humans, but in reality, all they're doing is they're making human raisins. They're dehydrating humans, that's all. They're, it's like it's like the first order meets a raisin company, that's all. All right, we are on Encrypt TV. Look at that, this is alive and well, maybe not alive and well anymore, but none of these were out earlier. I like a smile. It's got a great smile. You got good chompers, dude. <laughs> this is some Ron Weasley business right here. Do you think they meant to put the spider outside of Diagon Alley for Ron Weasley, who's terrified of spiders? Yeah, I don't like spiders or snakes. Or chainsaws. Dev just jumped out of his skin earlier at the house when the chainsaw got him. That and the tall guy from Kill House. Yeah, but I wasn't going to say that. That was a little embarrassing. We won't tell anybody. It's okay. It's horror night. I have accepted it. Everybody makes fun of me for loving Christmas time, but I love Christmas time. All the scare actors. It is not Halloween Horror Nights without Twisted Taters. We're at the Twisted Tater booth. Dev waited in line for like 30 minutes for us. Dude, it was so long. 30, it was worth, it's going to be worth it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, we're done eating the Twisted Taters. They were delicious. We rested our feet. But look at this goriness. That's some, that's some high class. Oh, there's a brain. There's a brain right there. But we're going through scare zones now before we get back to the last bit of houses. I think this is the Terra Queen. And blood feeds this tree. But there's no scare actors. Wait, wait, wait. Dad, they're coming. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're coming. Terra Queen and her minions. These are like Groots that walk up on the wrong side of the bed. Ooh, scary. It's not nice. Ooh, not having a good day. Jeff's looking over that spotlight. I realized, I think, I was just using the wrong setting on this ah. 27X camera. So maybe it'll be better the rest of the night. But we're hitting up the last of the scary zones before we go back to the last four houses. And then, oh wait, there's Jack. This is Jack's brother's, like, scare zone. Cheeks and food. Cochina kidding. Ah! I am lost right now. I don't know where Devin Bianca are. That guy's spooky. Sarah would hate this. Alright, we've taken a long enough break from houses. We're going back into case files on Earth. Legendary truths. Alright, we're getting ready for the dance show. But they did just say that photo and video are not allowed. So this is all you're gonna see. Finally going through the scare zone with scare actors and okay. Ooh. This 
spider person. Spooky. All right, so the dance show was really cool. There's some pyrotechnics, some some magic, some magicery, um, fire, pyro, dancing. It was good. It was a lot of old rock. Um, I'd see it again, and now we're gonna go knock out the last three houses, maybe do some repeats. We have a short list of what we want to achieve, but it is getting later. But now the scare zones are packed with scare actors. So it's been uh, been a good night, been a really good night. This is what HHN looks like. Just smoke, loud noises, and fear. <laughs> Got me. Here we have Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. I did this one last year a few times. So we've got this one, Bride of Frankenstein, and then Texas Chainsaw. They're all in this area over here. And then we've done them all. And then we'll start repeats. Tooth Fairy just now was really good last year. It's one of the best ones this year, but we missed a lot of the scare actors. And I think I'll talk about it more later, but there's like a lot of scare actors missing from the houses this year. And it's like, some of the houses it doesn't make a difference, others it does. So here we are going down Express, skipping on over to the front of Bride of Frankenstein. House number nine. Dev? Yes. Pumpkins, are they still number one? Yes. I agree. Followed by Hill House. And then Icons? Yeah, that would be number three. I agree. I Icons agree. Were, it was just really fun. It was yeah, it's fun. it's the culture of HHM. Yeah, it's not a good scare house. I didn't get scared very many right. times. But it's a good house. Yeah, absolutely. Good theme. The tenth and final house of the night, one we have not done, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it's 12:11. Still two hours left in the event, and we have the last house. Look at that. Love team members. We're getting some snacks at this, right? Oh, heck yes. Snack. We have to celebrate our last house. Snacks, snacks, celebration, and then some doubles. Let's do it. Here's the front scare zone. 30 years, 30 fears. Now that it's nighttime, it's all awake. Spooky. Look at this goblin. Ooh. So we just did Texas Chainsaw last, our 10th house of 2021. Pretty good. I was nervous that original contents are too much about the movie. We were all crying and running and jumping. Our first repeat, maybe only repeat, we'll see. But it's a good one. Let's, let's hope we get as many scares as we did the first time. Let's hope. There's Haunting of Hill House at night. And just like that, we did Hill House again. It was amazing. I got, I got a lot of scares that time. Way more scares the second time. And I thought it was great the first time, it was even better the second time. I still think the Pumpkin House is the best. The Hill House is definitely second. So we're gonna head out. We are exhausted. But we had to walk through scare zones to leave. Ooh, you are tall. Ooh. 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 HHN 30, opening night. 2021. What a fun time. Jeff. Yes, sir. Bianca. Yes. Thank you for letting me crash tonight. Oh, so of much course. fun. So much fun. It was so much fun with Peter. Yes. Woo! It's just... They heard me cry and scream like a baby all night. And you saw me fall multiple times. <laughs> you really did. You really did. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I made it back to the Airbnb. 2 a.m. <clears throat> My feet have been saturated all night because of that initial storm, but it was such a good HHN. Maybe top, maybe. But I'm gonna get myself ready, I'm gonna go to bed. It's a great night. Thank you for following along with us. I can't wait to go back to the HHN. I think I'm going back next Thursday. We will see. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.